Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to create fog inside new. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside new gear and I have imported our one image inside new. So now first we have to take a noise node here. So press tab and just take a noise node. Now press S and just set this project setting as image frame size here. So 920 1080, 1920 1080. Edge image size here. So simply just you can see now the define property one. Then after this, just we have to select this noise node and just we have to press one. So just you can see this noise pattern here. So now if you will play, actually there is no animations here. Then after this, we have to double click on this noise node. So you will get all these parameters here. So if you want to adjust this pattern size or noise size, then simply just you can adjust this value. Even if you want, you can also just click on this uh, options here and just simply just you can scale in maybe in X or in Y independent, just you can adjust according to requirements here. So maybe I think this is sufficient here. Then after this, we have to animate this pattern here. So for this, just we have to click on this transform tab here. So simply just I am going to animate this, uh, this is key value. So now hold control and just place this anchor point or pivot point at this point here. So simply at this starting point, then right click and just animate this X skew. So set key and just make little bit at this positions. Then go to this last maybe at frame 100 and just maybe just animate towards right here. So now just we have to play and just we have to check. So later if you want, you can also just modify this animations here. And after this, just simply we have to take a grade node. So just we have to adjust this little bit contrast value here, this one here. So for this, just we have to take a grade node. So press G and you take a grade node. And just we can connect after this noise node and just adjust this gain value a little bit. So now after this, what we have to do? So now just I am going to take a blur node and just we will attach with our this noise node here. So press B and just take this blur node and just direct connect with this noise node. Now select this one, press 1, then double click. Let me increase this blur size here. So now just I am getting uh, this result here. Then after this we have to take a copy node and connect B input with this grade node here and A input with this blur input here then double click on this copy node now just go to this copy channel and just select this red channel here so now if you will press R so just I am getting this result so just I am going to convert this red channel into over this forward U here so because just I am going to use actually I distort node for little bit just distorting this uh, pattern here so now if you will see just we are getting this result here so now after this just I am going to use a eye distort node. So now select this one, press tab and you take a eye distort node. And just connect it here. Then double click. Then in UV channel just we have to select this forward. So now just you can see. So now if we adjust this value. So now just we are getting this deformation here. So simply just you can see. So just we have to make it maybe minus 50 or 60. Now just simply if you will select this one, now press D. So just you can see this deformations here. Now simply just we have to play and just we have to check. So now just I am getting this result here. Then after this, we have to apply this fog on our this image here. So for this simply, just we have to take a merge node. Press M. This B input just we have to connect this image. A input just we have to connect with this I distort node. So later you can adjust all these values here. So first, now just select this one, press 1. So now just we are getting this result here. 
So now uh, again just press R. So now we are inside of this RGB uh, channels here. So just you can see this one here. Okay, so remove this one. So now here if you will see actually just uh, we are getting this result here. But I think this is not looking good because in this depth we have to create dense fog here. Okay, actually according to this image. So in this depth actually just I am going to create little bit dense fog here. Okay, so but here if you will see just I am getting same fog in all depth here according to this image. So for this what we can do, so simply just we have to take a roto node and connect after this image, press O. Now select this one, press 1, double click. Then in this output just we have to select this RGB A or RGB just you can select. Now just we have to create a shape. Then we have to create some feather points. So again, hold Control and just create feather points. So now again, just select this merge node. Now press one here. So now, if you will see here, just we are getting this result here. So how we can control all these things here and just we can achieve this realistic fog here. So for the first, if you will double click on this roto node and just select this rectangle and go to this color shape then this color just make it little bit in gray so we just make this color value maybe 0.5 around so now if you will see just we are getting little bit this dashed fog inside this depth here then after this what we can do then simply just you can select this rectangle then go to this roto here and just you can adjust this opacity value so just we are getting this result even just simply you can double click on this merge node and just you can adjust this mix value here. So now you can see, so just we are getting this result here. So simply just we have to play and check. So now you can see here this one. And again simply just you can double click and just you can adjust this mix value. And also this double click on this roto and just you can adjust this according to your requirements then finally what we have to do so actually just what I am going to do here so if you will select this noise node so just we are getting actually this pattern in this entire area here so what I am going to do so just I want to a little bit just reduce this fog actually in this area here so for this uh, what we can do simply double click on this noise node then go to this color and just simply just you can select this ramp options here so this is actually totally depends on your requirements here so simply just we can select maybe this smooth zero here so just we are getting this result even you can also adjust this smooth one so according to your requirement just you can select all these smooth value here so simply just you can see all these results here so zero or one even just you can also adjust this line here according to your requirements here okay now just simply just we have to play and just we have to check then double click on this merge node and just you can adjust this intensity fog then simply you can double click so the remaining value just you can adjust according to your requirements now just we have to play and check even we can also modify over this i distort value even this animation also just we can adjust this one here with just type animator this is key value here so now just simply we have to play and check about this result here so now just we are getting this result here so still i think this is a little bit slower so what we can do for this again you double click on this noise then go to this last key here and just make little bit this thing x axis even you can also animate this g value here then right click in this z value then set key then go to this last and little bit just adjust this value here so this will actually change this pattern here this one here so this will adjust this pattern so with the help of this g value now again then go to this last frame 
Now just select this one, press 1, simply just play and check. And the many things just you can adjust according to requirements here, even this mix value. This one just you can adjust and this one roto value this you can also this opacity you can adjust. So just you are getting this result here. So according to the requirements just you can adjust all these value here. So simply just we can again as we can play and check. So this is actually guys final result here. How we can create fog inside nuke here. Same as I have another example. So simply this is actually original image. So simply just you can see and with the help of same method just I have also it's created this fog inside this image also. So same thing just you can also see here. So now you can see. So with the help of same method just I have achieved this result here. And many things just you can adjust according to requirements here. So guys till here I have completed about this class how you can create fog inside new. So if you like this video, please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.